Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. And this is Christian Media, where we bring you news, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially, use the information on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Recently, we had an issue where pastors were fighting one another. Now, some were saying that you cannot sell anointing water, you cannot sell anointing oil or handkerchief. It is not biblical. And others were also on the other side, they were supporting it. So, uh, there has been this fight, this argument in the body of Christ. And we had uh, spiritual fathers fighting one another on the pulpit, you understand? And that's not good. We are supposed to be a body of Christ. You have, we have to be united. Now, Apostle Joshua Selman gave us a very nice you know solution to all this he gave us a good answer let us listen to what apostle joshua selman said we must preach unity in the body of christ this is why you see me advocating i dislike and i detest men of god taking advantage of their pulpit to tear down other people no if you're a man of god here don't do it that is not your assignment don't stand to tear down another man of god's work and criticize other people no 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 you can challenge wrong doctrines you can correct what needs to correct but respect what everybody is doing because you see the trouble in the body of christ will never end provided people keep fighting others every time you fight a man of god those who are loyal to that man of god and love the vision will respond to and so the, the the fight will be endless there are many people who have no business fighting one another is their fathers their spiritual fathers that have caused that thing because subliminally they have communicated a body language once i see you associating with this and that you are a demon you are a devil it is wrong that doctrine comes from the pit of hell it's a doctrine of demons see it is very clear that we are the body of christ paul says there are different administrations by the same spirit there are different operations by the same lord the problem we have in the body of christ we, we want everybody to operate the same they cannot operate the same the administrations are, are, are going to be different the operations are going to be different but it's still the same lord okay now let us listen to what uh Bishop Lai had said uh, concerning Pastor Ezekiel and uh, then uh, we're going to hear what uh, Apostle Nganga replied. Listen to what they, they said. They are selling clothes. It's not in the Bible. They are selling oil. That's not Pentecostalism. That is not the doctrine of the Pentecostal. Because the Pentecostal doctrine is from the Bible. Are you hearing me? So don't be scared by, by those who want, who want to silence us. We are unstoppable. Nimeakosoa bishop moja hapo. Umeona akihubiri na anatoka jasho. Selling kitambaya is not Pentecostal. Selling mafuta is not Pentecostal. Bishop, funga mdomo yako. Wewe ni mzee enda nyumbani. Wewe umeweka mtoto wako hapo ndio bishop na ni mlevi. Umeweka mtoto wako hapo kukambatia senior bishop na ni mlevi. Umeweka mtoto wako hapo kukambatia senior bishop na ni mulevi. Mtoto wako ni mulevi. Umetoa wale walikuwa na kutumikia. Ukawapatia tuvioski huko. Ukarete mtoto yako ukaweka hapo senior. Then that's not the Pentecostal. You have to do Pentecostal. Now you see. Now these are the things Apostle Joshua Selman was saying that we have we don't have to attack one another on the pulpit when spiritual fathers attack one another now the body of christ cannot be united and we claim that we are serving jesus understand uh, if there's anything which you find it is not uh, it's not a, a, according to doctrine you teach how it's supposed to be done teach if you want people if you don't want um, the water to be sold now teach people how people teach the church how people should be healed without using water teach them but now criticizing another person's 
administration is not what we are called to do. Okay, now let us listen to what Apostle Joshua Silman said for the last time as we wind up. We must preach unity in the body of Christ. This is why you see me advocating. I dislike and I detest men of God taking advantage of their pulpit to tear down other people. No. If you're a man of God here, don't do it. That is not your assignment. Don't stand to tear down another man of God's work and criticize other people. No, no, no. You can challenge wrong doctrines. You can correct what needs to correct, but respect what everybody is doing. Because you see, the trouble in the body of Christ will never end provided people keep fighting others every time you fight a man of god those who are loyal to that man of god and love the vision will respond to and so the, the the fight will be endless there are many people who have no business fighting one another is their fathers their spiritual fathers that have caused that thing because subliminally they have communicated a body language once i see you associating with this and that you're a demon you're a devil it is wrong that doctrine comes from the pit of hell it's a doctrine of demons that's all guys. Thank you. See you in the next video.